Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Gibson and I'm about to do a deep dive into the box. <gasps> oh, do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? My first Broadway show, I played Eponine on my own, pretending he's beside me. I'm just gonna sing for three hours and 20 minutes, which is about how long the show was. So fun fact, while I was singing on my own, I would hear all the cab radios coming through the monitor on the stage because all the other shows were letting out and we were only like two thirds of the way through the French Revolution. What an amazing memory. Oh, come on out of the blue. I spent a lot of time in bowler hats, y'all. They just frame the face perfectly, don't they? And um, listen, my very first hat that became kind of the iconic hat that you all know and love, uh, I just stole from Michael Damien at a radio station morning show, actually a holiday interview. And I was just doing the, the girl, the girly cutesy thing, like, oh my God, that's such a great hat. Can I try it on? Oh, I think it looks better on me than you. He let me keep it. And Michael and I are still friends. In fact, literally just texted the other day. So thank you, Michael, for like, basically making my entire career, thanks to the hat. <laughs> All right, the third item from the box. I can't even wait to see what it is. Okay, now, <laughs> so many of you 80s pop fans have always wanted Tiffany and I to collaborate. You would have thought we would have done an original song. No, we did a sci-fi movie with giant gators and baby gators, giant snakes, like I had a python, wrapped around me in this movie. It was kind of hardcore, very kitschy, very fun. There was a big like dynasty-esque food fight and we end up in a swamp. You just have to kind of like get into some kind of an altered state. I'm not encouraging that in general, but just I think like even just like a wine night with your friends and watch this because it'll be a lot funnier. All right, four, bring it on. June 1988. The 25th Foolish Beat put me in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the youngest artist to write, produce, and perform a number one Billboard hit. And I'm still the youngest female to date. I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing because I was in the family home, my family's home, in the living room at the piano, auditioning background vocalists in my living room in my parents' living room, really. And the phone rang, like the rotary phone rang, and it was the label giving us the chart position and, and told me it went number one. And I screamed and all the girls screamed and um, it was an incredible moment. Going into the box. Oh, winterlicious, baby. Jingle those bells, oh, jingle those bells. My first ever holiday record. I had so much fun making this. I had made a full length pop album the year before. So releasing two new albums within like just over a year of one another was kind of aggressive, uh, but, but I was in a creative flow and I really felt like I finally had reached the point where I had the originals that kind of felt like cozy and homey, but still fresh and new, which is always the line you wanna walk when you're putting your hat into the holiday album ring. I did two duets and two of my favorite duets with two of my favorite Joes. Daddy Joe and I did White Christmas and Joey McIntyre and I wrote an original called Heartbreak Holiday. For those of you who are out there, not like all sunshine and lollipops and candy canes at the holidays and missing somebody and a little broken hearted. So um, there's all kinds of different styles on this record from the modern to the full orchestra and the song Cheers came to me on New Year's Eve. I had been kind of floating around some of the melody in my head and I FaceTimed with my mom on what was to be her last New Year's Eve on the planet. So uh, she managed my career for 25 years and she always, always had a way of inspiring music in me. And I hung up from our FaceTime and I went to the piano and cheers just poured out. And it's really about raising a glass to where you are in your life right now. It's great to want things, but it's also great to really be happy where you are, with who you are, and with what you have right now. I think that keeps me in a place of calm. I think anxiety is when you get too far out ahead and you are wishing your life and things about yourself were different all the time. And so raising a glass to being grateful for your family, in my case, for the music that connects us all after three and a half decades, and that's in there. And uh, 
and raising a glass to loved ones we've lost. So Cheers is a very, very special original song on Winterlicious for New Year's Eve. I loved this waltz down memory lane so much. It really kind of like touches on all the aspects of my career as a songwriter, as a Broadway artist, as a fashionista, teen star, um, as an actor, and bringing it all into my current chapter with Winterlicious. It was such a fun, fun treat and surprise to see what the box at iHeart had in store for me. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here.